Hi, Blair Gilbert here for MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores here to show you some awesome tricks you can do bending PVC. I drill one hole to attach it to the door and then I come down here and I had to narrow up my latch so it would fit inside of the PVC. So when you hit the PVC, it triggers the latch and the door opens. In order to make something like this that I make for a panic bar here, I take the heat gun and I go about two inches past where my last bend is. So you see this here bend, I put it in the vise to flatten it, I heat it from here to here, and you'll see how I put the offset in it. Now you can do two different methods of heating up the pipe to bend it. We use a torch sometimes, and then I also have a high powered heat gun, 3000 degree heat gun. So I'm going to show you both methods and you can watch this way. So when I bend this to get a nice rounded bend, I have to take the heat gun, usually an inch or inch and a half past my bend. So what I do is I come here, I know that I'm going to want the bend to finish somewhere in here, so I'm going to mark it there. That's where you know where I'm going to stop. Alright, I've got my 3000 degree high temp heat gun. And one thing to remember, when I'm done heating it, I run it to air for a few minutes to let it cool so I don't turn it off with the burners really hot. Okay, in two minutes, this is getting malleable. Made up just a little bit extra to get it very flexible. So you see how easy this bent? As you sail up my heater run with just air on. A little bit of water and a rag causes this to harden much quicker. So there you have it. Nice little offset. We'll show you how nice this works for a screen door and we'll show you some other things that we can do. To bend something such as inch and a quarter, I used five minutes of heat over a longer radius and I built myself a template so that I could bend and I put a piece of one inch pipe in the end of it to keep it steady so I could make four so I could make four identical pieces. So I screwed this to the floor. I used the flooring as a jig so that as I made these, I could make four of them all look alike. Now we'll go outside and show you what we're doing with them. In front of my finished lanai. For those of you that don't have a nice high powered heat gun, this torch is a little extreme for what we're doing here, but this is gonna work. That was still about the same, about two minutes. The torch is good when you're painting your push bars because you don't care if you scorch it. That's where the heat gun is nice. Now, as I'm holding this, you can see how flexible it still is. We're just going to rub a little cool water on it. And it doesn't take but a few wipes. and that causes it to kick and harden. And there we have it. Let it sit a few seconds. Other than scorching it, quick bend, easy. So you don't need to have a fancy heat gun. You can just do it with fire. 
everyone likes fire. So after I make my bends, my panic bar, I take and round them and clean them up. I drill one hole to attach it to the door. And then I come down here and I had to narrow up my latch so it would fit inside of the PVC. So when you hit the PVC, it triggers the latch and the door opens slick as that. So when I'm walking out and my hands are full, I can just back into the bar, out I go, see you later. When we went and took the PVC, I tried to oval it a little bit and I had to take the handle of my door latch and grind it narrower so it fit inside the PVC. So it just floats in there. And all I have is one attachment, one screw, holds it onto the door, and it comes on down, works the latch. Great little panic bar for getting in and out of your house. So bending PVC and making little tricks around the house, easy tips from MrHardware.com.